Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So you guys know that I have been parting out my STI, bringing it back to a stock-like state, bringing it to a point where I'm comfortable selling it. Um, and one of the things that I needed to sell or trade were the Volk wheels. I was going to sell the car with the wheels, um, but an opportunity came up that I think a lot of you are going to like. Uh, and it's also going to bring the car to uh, at least a better selling state, in my opinion. I'm not a big fan of the OEM styled wheels that the STI does come with. I'm not a big fan of the 19s. I did not like the 18s. I didn't even like the limited uh, STI wheels that came on the 15 to 17s. So I was never really keen on those type of wheels. Uh, and my main goal was either to sell the Volks outright and pick up a set of OEM 19s or trade with somebody for some OEM 19s or OEM stock wheels for the Volks. Uh, and it ended up, an opportunity fell into my lap that um, I'm actually pretty excited for. And uh, we're going to do that in this video. So somebody hit me up sort of locally to me that was interested in trading their aftermarket wheels for my Volks. So we ended up working out a deal, got everything situated, and I'm actually going to go meet up with him uh, and swap wheels. I'm actually really excited about it because like I said, the stock wheels just really don't do this car justice. Um, and I feel like putting these aftermarket wheels on this car, at least on my STI, is only going to not only make it look good, <laughs> but it's also going to help it sell. It's going to make it a little bit more desirable. What we're gonna go do now is head back to the garage, get the STI on some jack stands, get the Volks off, throw them in the truck, and we're gonna meet up with the buyer of the Volks, do a little swap -a -roo. Then we can head back to the garage and get the new to me aftermarket wheels on the STI. All right, guys, back in the garage. So we are going to get the STI up on jack stands, get all the wheels off and get ready. Uh, I am actually going to meet up with the buyer of these wheels to do the swap tomorrow night. I just wanna get the wheels off, get everything ready because uh, tomorrow I just wanna be able to throw the wheels in the truck and uh, go do the swap. So I'm gonna do that tonight, knock it out uh, and get the car ready to go. So when I do get the new wheels tomorrow, I can just throw them right on that same night. So let's go ahead and get the car up on jack stands. So we got the car up on jack stands. It's nice and level, as you can see under there as well. I got two jacks on either side of the jack points that I use just for added reassurance. So let's go ahead and start removing the wheels. I'll remove this side first, then go over to the passenger side and get that knocked out. guys so I got all of the wheels off they are ready to go I'm gonna clean them up real quick they are ceramic coated so they're not really dirty and plus I haven't been driving so not bad at all but still I would like to clean them up for the new owner but here we go car is on the jack stands hovercraft conversion <laughs> um, but yeah it's gonna chill here for the night and then tomorrow we're gonna go pick up the new wheels then we can mount them up and uh, see what we're looking in terms of the overall look and everything uh, the, the offset and everything on those wheels are a little uh, a bit less aggressive than these. So it should be pretty easy to get them to fit. I may have to raise the car a little bit um, just to kind of get them since it is a thicker tire. It's a 40 series tire instead of a 35. Uh, but either way, we will get it looking good, I promise. Uh, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So I will catch back up with you guys tomorrow once I'm loading up the wheels in the truck and we go pick up the new ones and then we'll come back in the garage and um, mount them up. So catch you guys in a little bit.
All right, guys, so here are the new wheels for the STI. We're going to be installing these. These are Enki TS10s. Uh, they're in gloss black, obviously. Um, they're a little bit less aggressive, or well, a lot more less aggressive than all the sets of wheels that I have been running. These are 18 by eight and a half plus 50. Um, stock, I believe, is 18 by eight and a half plus 55. So these are five millimeter outward. Uh, but the really cool thing about these is uh, the seller actually included some 20 millimeter space just to put on. So it's actually going to be plus 30. So it's gonna fit really nice actually. I'm looking forward to it. Typically I would just rather not run spacers, but given the fact these wheels are pretty much stock specs, uh, I was totally fine with running the spacers. I actually just did a little quick test fit to make sure they work without the spacers. And they do, which I'm really surprised with the larger brakes. Uh, everything clears just fine, so I'm very, very happy. Um, so, and in the spacers, it's just gonna make it look even better. The tires are actually one of my favorite all-season tires, uh, besides the Michelin AS4s. These are the Continental DWS 06s. These I've ran on several sets of wheels in the past. I actually used these, or this tire, as my winter set on my OEM 17s on my WRX. I'll insert a picture right now of the WRX in the snow with these tires, and they did very, very well. So the really nice part about it is if I feel like driving this car in the winter, I most certainly can. 100% not gonna do that, but I do have the option. Plus, if the buyer of the car wants to use this year round, they have the option as well, since these are all seasons. I've been running dedicated summers on this car for the past, uh, I wanna say four or five years. So it's been a long time since I have run all seasons on this car, but the deal just ended up working out so well. He was fairly local to me and um, really, really happy with how everything turned out. Super nice dude, so huge shout out to Rich, thank you so much. Uh, it was a very, very smooth transaction, very easy, and uh, he got his dream set of Volks. He's gonna be sending me some pictures once he gets them on his STI, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing them on his. Uh, he also included a couple different sets of caps. These are the stock caps that it comes with, the basic Enki ones. Then he included some Amazon special black caps in case I didn't wanna run. Uh, the ones with the chrome on it, but I'm probably going to run the, the NK ones just because uh, that is what these wheels are, and I don't think they look too bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy. This is uh, pretty cool. I think this car is going to look much more desirable with these wheels as opposed to the stock wheels. It's actually funny, the stock OEM 18s that came on the STI for the 15 to 17s are indeed Enki. So it's kind of cool, pretty much a stock wheel, but overall aftermarket, and I think it looks better than stock. Plus it's gloss black and it's gonna look great uh, with the white brakes behind there. Um, and yeah, I honestly couldn't have been happier with the trade and how everything worked out. Oh, and also I met up with a buddy as well, a subscriber who picked up the uh, front sway bar. So as of right now, everything is sold, everything is accounted for. I do have a driver's seat, an OEM STI driver's seat on the way. Uh, so everything right now is pretty much set. It's just a matter of getting, I guess, the car back together with the wheels uh, as well as getting the driver's seat and we should be set to go to sell this car. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna throw the spacers on uh, the hubs right now and then we can go ahead and get the wheels on.
All right, guys, so we got the wheels on, all torqued down. I gotta say, it looks pretty darn good. Hard to capture black wheels on camera. Obviously, I have to get some daytime shots for you at some point. But overall, I am really happy. The fitment is pretty darn good. The front I'm running, well, I'm running a negative four camber all around from the previous set of wheels. Um, so I might have to change it up, but either way, I'm gonna drop it down, see how it looks first before I make any suspension changes. Uh, but man, it is really cool. It's amazing how much more the uh, brake kit pops behind black wheels. It doesn't get lost uh, with a lighter color wheel. Granted, the Volks were a darker colored wheel. The black really makes the white brakes pop. So let's get the car off the jack stands finally. I hate leaving cars on jack stands and uh, let's see how it looks. All right, guys, cars on the ground, checked all the fitment and everything around the fenders, and I'm pretty sure we're, we're actually good. I don't need to actually adjust the height, although I may dial out some of the camber because up front it is fairly aggressive um, since I had to run. I'm at negative 4.1, I think, in the front, and the rear is around the same. The rear doesn't look as bad. Um, it sits pretty decently flush. I mean, obviously, we can dial it out. I probably can go it around to negative 3 or so. In a couple days, I'm going to go for a drive and test everything out, make sure everything is uh, good and there's no issues, but I can tell already just how much more clearance there is. I mean, up in the fender well, way more space than with the Volks. The Volks were way more aggressive um, and these are just not as aggressive. But as you can see, I'm running full camber on the camber plates all the way uh, in, which is as much camber as possible, plus with the stock camber bolt on the actual strut. Uh, it's I can't get any more camera than I have right now. So so we'll take a look on the passenger side granted It is the same thing. I figured I would just show you guys since that is Exactly the same, but yeah uh, It's pretty cool to have black wheels on the car again They were actually my first set of wheels that I put in this car were the Graham light 57 DRs in the uh, satin black which I loved um, And I always said that I wanted to get another black set of wheels on this car, but I never got an opportunity but here we go. I'm really happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. It looks much better than running the OEM 19s or the OEM 18s uh, from Subaru. I think these just look way better. As I mentioned, I threw the Enki caps on instead of the cheaper plastic ones, but I'm happy with that. Again, I can go out and drive in the cold weather if I wanted to. I haven't been able to do that with this car in many, many, many years. <laughs> it's funny, after just throwing these wheels on, I started getting ideas like maybe I'll just throw one of the uh, Basin R lip kits on, like the front lip, side skirts, and spats. Uh, and then I was also thinking about putting the, um, the uh, taillight film on the clear part there again, which I did when I first got the car, just to bring it to a state where I want the car or what I would drive it. Um, you know, not that it's not acceptable now, but I don't know. <laughs> it's only a couple hundred bucks to do that, so I may do that before I sell it just to make the car look even better than it already does, but we'll see. Um, I do have an interested buyer actually out of state that is interested in the car So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to have time to do that uh, But if that deal falls through or you know, just doesn't pan out Maybe we'll get to throwing that quick uh, little lip kit on there just to make it look a little bit better But yeah, I'm super happy with the look. It's not necessarily a wheel that I would choose personally um, But I'm happy. I got a chance to try this out and also I'm really happy uh, I got a chance to try out a stock like specced wheel with the 20 millimeter uh, spacers that you bolt onto the hub. I never had a chance to do that because I always just got wheels uh, you know, that I didn't need spacers for, but now that I have experience with it, I can tell people exactly how it will look. Do I recommend it or not? And honestly, I don't have any issues with it. Um, although I would probably go with the 25 millimeter spacer. I think this is 20. So if you're going with an 18 by eight and a half plus 50, I'd probably bump it up to the 25 millimeter spacer they have just to bump it out a little bit. But then again, I am running more camber 
So it may look a little bit more flush once I dial that out. But yeah, guys, that is the wheel swap. That was something that I was really stressing about because I honestly didn't know how it was gonna pan out. A lot of people don't necessarily like spending that much money on wheels. So I was really, really pleased that I was able to come across this deal, let alone it be somewhat local where I didn't have to ship out the wheels or anything like that, or we didn't have to do this crazy deal where somebody shipped out their wheels and I shipped my, you know, just a mess. I didn't want to deal with that. So I could not be happier with the overall decision and how it ended up. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing the Volks on his STI. He has the diamond gray color, so it should look really, really nice with the diamond dark gunmetal Volks. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this one. Unexpected wheel change. I was not expecting to get some aftermarket wheels. I thought I was gonna get some stockers and just throw it on and be done with it. But yeah, pretty cool. I definitely would like to take this car out for a drive very soon, get some exterior shots, show you guys what it looks like. Obviously, I wanna clean this up because this car is absolutely filthy. It's been chilling here for about a month or so after demodifying it and just kind of working on it. Um, you know, there's fingerprints everywhere and I wanna get it cleaned up. So that will be in a future video. But as for this one, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.